Good morning everybody. Hope you're all feeling nice and well on this cold and wet Sunday morning. Um, I'm busy here watching the London Marathon and the conditions there seem to be pretty similar to here in Cape Town. Anyhow, I'm just starting on an hour cycle um, and then I'm going to go for a brick run after that as I'm in busy triathlon training mode at this moment in time. Um, what you're going to see next is some footage of last week's Two Oceans Ultra Marathon. This is a 56 kilometer, 35 mile run. It is my 22nd attempt. And there is a seven hour cutoff for the race. And uh, my ambition before the run was to finish within that seven hours. So I'm gonna continue to watch the London Marathon. You guys can sit back and watch my video and hopefully enjoy it. Thank you very much. Just after five o'clock on Saturday morning, walking to the start of the two oceans. Uh, my start time is at 5.18, and I'm busy looking for start pen E, which is my dedicated start pen, which is for the blue number runners. Speak later. This is a video of the Two Oceans 2023 during load shedding. I'm afraid that my personal opinion is that this is incredibly dangerous. And I hope and pray for the safety of each of these people, including my husband. So after nearly two hours of running, we eventually get to see some daylight and the ocean. Uh, we're now going to Musenberg and heading towards Cork Bay and then Fisher. Once in Fisher, we head across to um, Nordhook and then we start the climbs of the day. area called Little Chappies. We've done about 28 k's. Going quite hard. This is a view up front.
Okay, so the top of the little chap is. We've got a bit of downhill now before we hit Chapel's proper. I think we can see a Coke station ahead, which I really need at this stage. Let's see the guys behind. Okay, 30k is done, 26 to go. Okay, the start of Chep is itself. Time for the big walk. So that's the route ahead, right up to the topper. How bain the distance? On and on it goes. Good excuse to take a walk in here. As you can see, 32 k's done, 24 to go. This little section is known as false chappies. A lot of people get to here and think it's uh, top of Chapman's Peak. Unfortunately, there's still about another K2O. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once you get round the corner. Okay, so we've just got to the top of false chappies. 
there in the distance, you can see the actual summit of Chapman's Peak, Barakay to go. And here it is, the top of Chapman's Peak. Nice downhill now before we start the climb up to Constantia Nick, which is far more formidable than Chappies and obviously much further into the race. Bananas, if you feel like it. Then the distance is half bay. That's the route you're taking now, down into half bay. So here we are, start of Consentianik, the last major climb of the route. We have done just over 42 k's, so. 14 k's to go. So we've got approximately 3 k's to the top of this hill, there's a water point coming up which is great because I'm in dire need of water and some coke. It seems a long time since we had the last water point. Uh, points are supposed to be every few kilometers but uh, some of them are close to 5 which is a bit of a problem, especially at this stage in the race. Anyhow, we'll probably have some more footage before the top. So I'll speak to you just now. So still in the water. We've probably gone so we're 44 k's in now. 12 k's to go. Desperate need of water. Okay, we're coming to the steepest part of the climb now. I think probably about a K and a half to go to the top. And good news is we've just had some water. As you can see, with a few exceptions, the majority of the field is walking as I'm certainly am. Speak to you just now. Still climbing. Every corner we come to, you think you're gonna turn the corner and you're gonna see the top. Unfortunately, this is a site to be greeted with another corner to come up but I reckon we must be about half a game now you still have time to photograph the damn thing this is on, I'm not fit so I have to <laughs> photograph <laughs> enjoy it sir. thanks eh? this is looking more promising we'll see when we get to this corner Okay, we just turned the corner and we can definitely see the top. About two, three hundred meters to go. People say we're looking strong, we don't feel it. Looks very deceiving. Yeah, very deceiving. Now, the chat once we get to the top. Okay, let's walk uh, the last few hundred meters to the top. Yeah. 
Top of Constantia Nick! Yay! Constantia is very good. So, are you enjoying it? Yeah. Huh? I can't even talk. You can't even talk. <laughs> so, the 10k to go. Yes, uh, no, 9.98. 9.98, yes. How are you feeling? I'm exhausted. Exhausted, that's good. Carrying an ITB injury, so. Oh. It's mine over matter from here. Okay. I'm gonna make it. Well, take it easy and it should be great. Nice one. Simon! See you at the finish line. So just under 10 k's to go. Downhill now. Um, traditionally, in recent years. Hi there, how's it? Yeah, you're well, you're well. Yeah, yeah traditionally in recent years, I managed to cramp all the way down here. So I'm hoping this year I'm not going to cramp. Um, I'm going to hopefully film now the finish. Um, so yeah, so we'll see you there guys. Thank you for watching so far. So what's he going to make his time? I think so. Go Simon! Okay, finished. With about 40 seconds to spare. Ah, hence me not filming the finishing coming in. But that is the finish. Moral of the story. Train. Especially for our ultra. Scenes of the finish, guys. All my fans, as they say. A very hard day at the office, but glad I'm done. And that's my number 22 completed. People trying to find each other in the melee of runners and spectators. This could be fun. Okay, just trying to get to see the finish. Home, this is the guys coming in. Home. Hopefully you saw the finish line, it's pretty crowded here. Okay, and just the final yeah, the one for me. There is the finishing medal. Okay, I'm gonna walk, find my car, and then sleep. Cheers, guys. <laughs>